Good afternoon. Today, a very important lesson. I can prove triangles are congruent by proving three things using mini proofs and additional tools to help us keep structured for triangle proofs because structure is very important. We have our song. So here are the lyrics to the song and I'm going to play the song for you right now. Triangle proofs. So, we're always proving triangles are congruent. To prove triangles are congruent, I have to prove three things, meaning sides or angles are congruent. CPCTC, we use when we're proving segments or angles. We haven't talked about that yet. That will be in the next lesson. To get my three things, I'm going to do my mini proofs. Then I'm going to do my additional tools. And the only two that I've talked about so far our V and R, vertical angles and reflexive property. And that's all we're going to do today. So, <clears throat> prove triangles. Prove three things. It's telling me that it wants us to prove that triangle BAD, let's do that in blue, is congruent to triangle BCD. Let's do that in green. So, to prove triangles are congruent, I need to prove three things. In order to do that, I'm going to start with my givens and do mini proofs. BD bisects angle CDA given. Which definition is that? Well, an angle is being bisected. So it's an angle bisector. Creates two congruent angles. CDA, D is what's being bisected. D is the vertex, the middle letter. Those are my two congruent angles. Angle ADB is congruent to angle CDB. All right, I have one pair of things congruent. I need three. I go to my next given. My next given is a gift. AD is congruent to DC. Given. I don't have to do a mini proof. I don't have to do anything with that. I'm going to mark my picture. I'm going to move on. Now I have two pairs of things congruent. I need three. I don't have any more givens. So once I run out of givens, I move on to my additional tools. And all we talked about so far is V and R, vertical angles or reflexive property. Which one do I see here? Well, I see BD is in both triangles. That's reflexive property. So I'm going to write BD is congruent to BD, reflexive property. So now... I have three pairs of things congruent. I wanted three pairs of things congruent. So now that I have my three things, I can state that the triangles are congruent. Triangle BAD, triangle BCD. And my reason, well, this is a lesson that we did a couple days ago or yesterday. <clears throat> Block out one of the triangles. Just look at one of them. Let's look at the blue one. So I'm going to try and cover my green one as best as I can. Usually you're just going to take your hand and do this, and I'm just looking at the blue. How many sides are marked? How many angles are marked? Well, I see two sides, and I see one angle. Is the angle that's marked the angle that's between the two sides? Yes. S-A-S. And we spent a whole lesson on that one piece. That's where that piece comes from. And that, my friends, 
is a triangle proof. All right, let's take a look at example number two. I know that I'm always proving triangles are congruent. To prove triangles are congruent, I'm always proving three things. So, I start with my givens and I do a mini proof. Pn is an altitude given. So I do a mini proof. The definition for altitude, an altitude creates two congruent right angles. So if Pn is the altitude, the right angles are where the altitude hits the base. Angle PNM is congruent to angle PNO. I have one pair of things congruent. I need three. I go to my next given. This one's a gift. Angle OPN is congruent to angle MPN. Given. Gift. Now I have two pairs of things congruent. I need three. I'm out of givens. Once I'm out of givens, I go to my additional tools. V and R are the only two we talked about so far. Vertical angles, reflexive property. I see reflexive property. PN is congruent to PN. Reflexive property. Now that I have three pairs of things congruent, I can state that the triangles are congruent. Triangle MPN is congruent to triangle OPN. And my reason, well, just look at one of the triangles. Let's look at the one on the left. Where's my heart? Here's my heart. I'm going to try and block the one on the right as best as I can. I see two angles and one side. Is the side that's marked the side that's between the two angles? Yes. So that is a S A. And that's it. We're going to go through one more example, and then after that, I'm going to have you practice. All right. So we're just going to go over number three. I'm always proving triangles are congruent. So I have ESA and RBA to RBA in green. And I know I always have to prove three pairs of things congruent. So if we take a look at my first given, SB is parallel to RB. Given. And now parallel, extend my parallel lines, extend my transversal one at a time, dot, 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 angle of a triangle, angle of a triangle, second transversal, dot, 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 angle of a triangle, angle of a triangle. So I have angle... SEA is congruent to angle BRA, and I have angle ASE is congruent to angle RBA. My reason for parallel is a long one. Parallel lines. Cut by a transversal. Create congruent, either alternate interior, alternate exterior, or corresponding, since everything is inside the parallel lines here. That would be alternate interior.
next given R E bisects C B given Well, that's a line bisector, so I write a line bisector creates two congruent segments since CB is being bisected there is no CB or anything of that type of it's supposed to be SB since SB is being bisected SA and AB are my two congruent segments And now I have three pairs of things congruent. So I can state that triangle ESA is congruent to triangle RBA. Just look at one of the triangles. I'll block one of them out with my special heart. So let's just look at the one on the right. I see two angles in one side. The side that's marked is not the side that's between the two angles. So the S is not in between the two A's. And it's AAS. Now one additional thing I wanted to show you. I have my three things so I'm good. But I also have vertical angles here. So I just want to show you how that would work. Now, since I already have three things, I don't need it. But I do have vertical angles there. So instead of using one of the parallel, one of the open interior angles, I could have said angle SAE is congruent to angle REB. vertical angles are congruent. So I didn't need that here because I already had three things. I don't need four. But I just wanted you to see that again, how that would work. You could have replaced one of these with that if you wanted to do, but you didn't need to. So to prove triangles are congruent, I'm always proving three pairs of things congruent. To do that, I do mini proofs with my givens. I use my definitions. I'm going to move on to my additional tools. VR are the only ones we talked about so far. Vertical angles and reflexive property. The classwork slash homework is to finish triangle proofs. And then we're going to move on to CPCTC next class.